Hello everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you uh, my article uh, in the upcoming issue of Journal of Integrated Standardized Homeopathy. The topic is Fright and its Differential Materia Medica, a case series. Uh, in this article, I have discussed five cases of fright and uh, the different dimensions, how I have tried to approach the case through repertory and materia medica and also try to evolve how we can differentiate uh, fright and materia medica and of the different remedies. So the approach has been that many times we have seen that we study materia medica a lot through different books. However, what is more important is to apply this knowledge at the bedside. And many times we falter in this. So in this article, I have tried to bridge this aspect of uh, uh, cases of fright and also try to study fright of those remedies through different source books in order to try and understand that which remedy is best suited for that case and in the process try to understand what exactly is the uh, characteristic or the peculiar uh, aspect of those remedies. Uh, in this article, we have I have tried to uh, use the concept where uh, we have tried to understand the causation, evolution as well as the expressions of fright in the case and try to understand the causation, evolution and expressions of fright in different remedies that have come for differentiation in that particular case. And therefore, finally concluded that what are the finer shades of fright in these remedies. So, uh, this article would not only uh, pay, uh, pave the way for understanding fright and its differential matter medica, but it will also help us to uh, maybe you know, try and uh, have a, a mechanism or a, a system by which we can approach differential materia of different emotions like further studies can be done on this basis like anxiety and its differential materia or anger and its differential materia at the same time the peer review process that this article has undergone has not only helped in refining the article but also helped in improving our knowledge of materia medica uh, like we are made to think in a particular way in order to refine through the comments of the various reviewers and that helps in better organization, uh, achieving a better clarity and also uh, you know, bringing it on the paper. So uh, definitely this uh, uh, writing an article in this kind of a peer review journal has a great benefit to the author as well to in order to refine his skills. Uh, and also increasing and improving the knowledge of Matra Medica. Please do go through the article and uh, please share your feedback. Thank you very much.